hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to delete the uploaded files from your server in node.js after a specified interval of time so for this we will be using a dependency which is rimruff so you can see you can just search on go to npmjs.com node package manager and search for this dependency rimruff this is a spelling here you can see and it has got almost 44 million weekly downloads you can see this is a very popular library so it's uh, specifically used for deleting files which are stored on the server automatically you can just provide a time in milliseconds and then it will automatically delete your files you need not have to do anything so i have given all the source code inside my blog post the link is there inside the video description you just need to follow the step-by-step -step blog post and this is a simple file of source code which i given here simply copy paste the code here and in this video i will show you step-by-step -step process on how to use this plugin so first you need to create your node.js project simply go to command line and let me just show you so here you simply need to type the command npm in it dash y so basically this will create the package dot json file for you so after that you need to install this module which is r i m r a f so just execute this command i have already installed this so uh, i think i haven't so let me just install this rim rough so just execute this command so apart from that you need not have to install any other dependency so it will automatically install this dependency for you now you can just check your package.json file inside you can see this is a dependency that we have installed here rimruff and now basically what you need to do is that go to index.js this is a starting point of the application uh, you need to include one other dependency which is file system basically this will be the you need not have to install this dependency this is a built-in file system module so basically we need to interact with the file system that is why we are in including this module the second step we need to uh, include our rimruff library so here you simply require it rimruff and now guys i have given the source code here you simply need to first of all provide your directory address the absolute path so this will be the path where you are storing your user file or any other file so i have created this public folder you can see inside public folder we have the uploads folder so here we need to provide the full address uploads directory so this is a absolute path you need to provide so this is colon colon dir name plus we are providing slash public slash uploads so here we are providing our directory on which it will constantly monitor so whenever it finds that the file is older it will automatically delete now this is a code here guys which you need to write here simply i will just copy paste it so simply you just need to copy it and paste it here so i will paste it here you will see now you will see the magic here so simply this is a time here in milliseconds you can see i have replaced it here this is typically for hour here you can see 36 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so these much of milliseconds make one full hour which is 60 minutes so whenever a file is older than 60 minutes it will automatically delete all the files which are uploaded now you can play this play with this value let's suppose i need to remove it after 10 seconds so or 15 seconds so i can just google it how many milliseconds are required for 15 seconds so 15 seconds to milliseconds so it will get the value you can see 15000 milliseconds so here i need to in input this value instead of 36 so just replace this value and now you will see the magic so once you need to execute this node.js script <coughs> and side by side i will show me show me all the files which are there inside this directory so now let me just run this script here which is uh, I will run this npm start so it will start this node.js script and it is saying path is not defined so we also need to uh, include path dependency so i will update the blog post code as well so we also need to include the path as well this is again a built-in dependency 
you need not have to include this so now you can see it will automatically and now you can see successfully delete it you can see so it has successfully deleted all these files because uh, I am running NodeMon here so it will constantly monitor the application so I think 15 seconds were passed so it has successfully deleted all the files and now let me just show you once again <coughs> Uh, let me just put files here inside this and again show you so let me just copy this files here and inside my folder project folder let me just include, Im include it so this is the folder which is image upload so inside the public folder inside uploads we need to paste these files once again oh, sorry I am not running it sorry. So now let me just again run this Node.js script and tell you. So now I will run this by node index.js and now after 15 seconds it will automatically delete these uh, files. You can see successfully deleted, successfully deleted and successfully deleted. So this is a library guys, rimref. You need to you can accordingly change this time if you want you can put a longer interval of time let's suppose i again replace it by sorry this needs to be path and uh, if i change this to 60 minutes to milliseconds Oh, sorry I replaced this value by this value so just copy this value and I will recommend that you use this value because the previous value was instantly it, will re it, it, it was removing all the files so you should uh, use this value that I have given here inside my blog post and now let me just again uh, Mm. copy files here which was inside my folder free media tools inside public so again I need to copy these files and this was here inside image upload paste it and now let me just see if I run this so you can see that it is removing the files instantly so in this way guys it will automatically remove the files for you automatically you can use this library rimref and all the source code is there inside the video description so thanks very much guys for watching this video and uh, I will be seeing you in the next video